I'm glad you're here. You know, the most terrible thing has happened. Owen's gone. Wait, wait huh? who, 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 who's Owen? Oh, he's the curator of primates over at the zoo. I mean, he was. Now he's gone to this fancy new job in Ulster County. And his temporary replacement is this awful guy. And he's gotten Prince Albert. That's the gorilla I've gotten to know. He's gotten him all upset. Delia, you mean when you came in here and said something terrible happened, you were talking about a gorilla? Yeah. You make it sound like he's some dumb animal. He's not very important. You never were very generous, Jill. Look, Dee, we're right in the middle of something. Ma's upstairs, and I know she's been looking for you. What are you in the middle of? Will you go and see what Ma wants, please? I mean it. All right, fine. Everybody's so self-absorbed in here. <sighs> Hello, Roger. I'm sorry, but I don't have time to talk to you tonight. Well, I, uh, actually, I only came by for a cup of coffee. Oh. Well, you know you can't sleep when you drink coffee at this hour. Well, maybe we could sit down and have, uh, some decaf. There are a few questions that I want to ask. Well, I can't. I have to get to the zoo before they lock up. I left a present for little John in Prince Albert's feeding area. Well, look, don't try to uh, make any surprise visits on Tizo Novodny. For one thing, he's about to go into surgery, and for another thing, he's not the safest person to be around these days, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. Delia, I just want you to live long enough so we can have a conversation one of these days. Well, a conversation would be real nice. One of these days. <laughs> Albert, I'm glad you're alone. How you doing? I was wondering if you were all right, because that new guy's an awful grouch. Don't worry, he's only temporary, and Owen's real replacement will be here soon, I hope. You understand about how he had to leave, you know. It's not because he doesn't care about you. Oh, I almost forgot. Here it is. It's a present for little John. It's a super robot. He walks in flash. Albert! I'll bring you a present next time. I just hope that guy will let me give it to you. Owen was nice. He really loves you, you know. And I'm sure he's doing whatever he can do so that you could be at that zoo in Ulster County with him. You just have to practice patience, Albert, the same way I do. I mean, it's crazy for me to be alone the way I am. Of course, I have lots of friends. The Ryans, sort of, but that's mostly because I'm little John's mother. The Tiso Novotny, he's my friend. Except he's real sick and he might die. And then, too, he's probably a terrible criminal, but I'm patient because I know that one day Roger will realize how terrible he's treated me, and he'll come back and he'll say he's sorry, and that he loves me, and that he'll never be mean to me again, and then we'll be together again, just like you and Owen will. Everything will be all right, huh? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. <laughs> I better go now. I gotta find that guy and tell him how I found my package. In case he realizes that it's gone and that I was in here against his order. So you sleep tight now, okay? <laughs> for talking to you like a dog, but that's the first thing that popped into my head. Good, Albert. No, no, that's okay. Just stay there a while while I figure out what to do. Just sit quietly for a minute. You aren't gonna hurt me, I know that. If I seem nervous, uh, it's just because you seem bigger out of the cage. Question is, how do we get you back into the cage? No, wait, Albert, Albert, wait. That's good, that's good. Hey, Albert, uh, want a banana? 
you like a banana? That's right. Good. Albert wants a banana. Now, the bananas are in the other room, you know? In there? Can, can you come with me? Come on, Albert. That's good. What's going on? Albert. Albert. How'd he get out? How should I know? Albert. Albert, don't be mean. Don't be mean to him. He doesn't know any better. Will you go away, please? Albert. Just shut up and go away. Not far. Just out of here. He doesn't like you. He likes me. Albert, stay back. Albert. That's a wrong approach. Huh? Will you let me try? Albert, Albert, it's okay. It's okay. Sweet Albert. See? He's not gonna hurt me, are you? I'm gonna get the trank gun. It's okay, see? He's gone. But you don't want a tranquilizer, do you? They make you feel awful. They gave him to me when I was sick and I hated him. I don't want that for you, Albert. I know, I know you're upset and I don't blame you, all these transitions and changes. But tranquilizer's not what you want. That's not gonna make you feel better. That's not near as good as a banana. Would you rather have a banana? Yeah. Let's go get a banana. Good. Come on, Albert. Good. Don't be impatient now. Come on. Can you get back in the cage now so I can give you some bananas? Come on. No, not here, Albert. Here. In here, this is home. You know, everybody has a place they hang out in. Oh, I know. You miss Owen. I understand. Believe me, not exactly, but like when Roger and I split up, felt like everything was falling apart, but new people will come into your life, and new things will start happening, and a new man is going to come take care of you. His name is Richard. Richard Fine. You'll like him. No, I know you will. You'll like him. Here we go. Banana for Albert. Yeah. You go get it? Come on, Albert, please. You're my friend. I'm counting on you. Okay. Okay. See how nice it is in here? It's like home. And here's the banana. Come on. There it is. That's all right. Fix the door. Did you, did you have to tranquilize them? That's my business, not yours. Now, what happened? I left my package there the time before, and I guess after I left, the door popped open, and he followed me out. I told you not to go into the feeding area without permission, not half an hour ago. Well, you weren't around. So you took it on yourself. It won't happen again. Why don't you go visit the big cats? There's a dandy North American cougar over there that would love some company. I mean, I didn't make it happen, but it was under control. He was responding to me. I almost had him back in there when you showed up. I'm sorry, I know you're trained, but you don't know Prince Albert. Now, we have a really special relationship, but it's ruined now. He'll never trust me again. He's very sensitive. He's dangerous, and you're very, very lucky. Well, Prince Albert's not, and I feel sorry for him. Thank you. 